Hi guys, it's Jenny here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today. This one's for the Kitahola Kits design team using the gorgeous uh, December, De December, December <laughs> kits. <laughs> now they've got a bunch of the Paige Evans Whimsical collection in it and um, I really wanted to use this frame by paper. I haven't had the heart to use it yet um, and I decided I'm just going to brave it and uh, use it so um, the cut file I'm using today is uh, exclusive from the Kitaholic Kits um, and yeah I am going to offset every I guess odd one um, if that makes sense there we go you can see what I did <laughs> I um, backed every second one with the patent paper and tried to line them up as best as I could um, so that the rainbow kind of ran down the heart. I felt like it would be a bit too much to have um, the entire thing backed with the um, rainbow patent paper um, and I like the breathing space in between each of those rows. It allows you to kind of embellish within those rows of rainbow pattern paper I guess um, so you can see me flicking through some of the 12 by 12 pattern papers and I decided they were all too busy and too much um, this rainbow kind of speaks for itself so I'm actually going to use white cardstock for my background which is not like me at all well not lately <laughs> um, but I'm going to and I first thought had the idea I've got three photos of tucking them inside these hearts but I didn't quite cut the cut file large enough to fit the photos or print my photos small enough um, so I'm just going to go with two and I'm just going to layer them beside each other on top of the cut file um, I didn't want to lose any of the actual picture uh, if that makes sense um, because I guess the entirety of the picture helps to tell the story so the photos are of Edison and my little niece Eva um, they came through at the end of Christmas, um, New Year, they've done it quite often now, yeah? um, to spend a few days with us um, after Christmas and we just went down to the beach and had a fun little day at the beach. So um, the girls were playing in the sand so I snapped a few photos. So that's basically what I'm documenting here. Now of course the rainbow <laughs> and um, the flowers that I end up putting on the layout have nothing to do with the beach but it's, um, it's always summer in December here in New Zealand so the bright colours... Um, really go with this time of year for us um, well I think that they do uh, they're very festive and colourful and summery and yeah okay so the two photos I've just backed with these are uh, four by six um, patent paper that Steph includes in the pocket page kit so I'm using them as layers for behind my photo instead of cutting into large 12 by 12 patent papers um, so they're really rather handy to have and I've chosen the dark kind of magenta colour I guess pink um, to frame both of them and then I've done the blue on the right hand side one because that one is closest to the blue on the um, cut file if that makes sense and then I've chosen the other side of that which is the yellow for the photo on the left which is closest to the yellow um, on the hearts and the cut file. Um, I hope you can get where I'm going with this, <laughs> you probably do, I'm going to do what I love to do which is a bit of tone on tone embellishing, it's always fun to do and yeah so I'm flicking through, um, I went through the Kaiser Craft sticker book which was in the pocket page kit, it's so full of stickers believe me um, and I've pulled out a blue tab that's it's like a blue and white floral design and I'm just folding them on themselves, they're adhesive um, and I'm tucking them in the layers and then I've pulled out a blue little label from one of the exclusive die cut packs and here I am pulling out another <laughs> um, and finding a peachy a coloured one to go on the left hand photo and I've done the same, I've pulled a, like a peach coloured um, tab to stick in those layers and that's just another little detail and again with the tone on tone embellishing so I'm going to start flicking through the die cuts um, I've got the whimsical um, a die cut ephemera pack and also the floral from the whimsical as well that die cut ephemera pack um, and I'm just flicking through trying to find pieces that will work and I've zeroed in on a pink and green um, die cut floral and a purple and then another with pinks and purples and that's given me an, an immediate direction of where I'm going to place my clusters <clears throat> so I've got one to the left of the photos 
uh, one to the top right because there's a nice space there and then the purple is going to have to be brought down a bit and a logical spot would be down the bottom right where their open heart is on the cut file and I can tuck it in there so I'm just working out when I want to place them um, and this is what I'm talking about when I'm having open parts of my cut file and they give you ample space to embellish without overwhelming the page <clears throat> Okay, so I've also pulled out the um, acrylic word that was in the pocket page kit uh, from Corbett Creations. It's a gorgeous little white December, so I've decided that's going to be my title. And I wanted to add something else to it, and I found this Blue Love in the die cut pack from Whimsical. And it fit perfectly to where my title was. So there we go. That's my title, December Love. Who doesn't love December? <laughs> it's the best month in the year. <laughs> well, I think. <laughs> Um, there's my birthday, there's Christmas, it's summer, what's not to love? <laughs> okay, so, again, just finding places for those florals, and I'm pulling out a few more bits and pieces to add to those clusters, just to give them a bit of oomph. So I've added some green leaves at the top, uh, by the green flower, around by the green pattern paper, and then I've brought um, another purple flower down to the bottom right, and I've added a foiled uh, leaf down there. Um, that's kind of acting as a neutral and then on the left hand side where the pink is I've added a couple of kind of neutral leaves and a peachy pink and a yellow floral so they're all again tone on tone okay so I'm rather happy with this, with this so um, I'm going to adhere it down so I didn't mention but I have backed my cut file with some adhesive foam um, and I'm just working my way around it gluing the bulk of it down where I can. The open spaces of the cut file I cut up some small squares of adhesive foam and I use them because they're white uh, because I've got a white background, a white cut file. If I use coloured foam it will almost certainly show through at some point and I didn't want that. I wanted to retain the nice crisp clean white look. <clears throat> okay excuse me I've got a bit of a frog it's quite late in the evening so uh, my voice is um, going a little bit but we'll get there okay so just peeling the backing off those that white foam that I've popped on that frame cut file frame and I'm going to glue all that down I can finish gluing down my die cut pieces that I've kind of tucked around the place pick up my entire photos and glue them down and pop up my yellow flower on an adhesive foam square I'm doing my leaves and my flowers. So it's a really simple um, layout to do. Like the cut back in the cut file wasn't um, anything really difficult. Um, as you saw, I just kind of placed it on the pet paper and trimmed off the excess. I'm going to glue down this Corbett Creations acrylic word and glue down that word love as well. Now I did trim off a bit of the, there was a really large white border around that word love um, from the die cut packs and I felt like it was taking away a bit. So I did trim it down so that the, the white border around the word love was a little bit thinner. Okay so I'm going back to the Kaiser Craft sticker book um, that was in the Project Life, not Project Life, pocket page kit and I had left this page open because there were blue words and I thought that I could pop some of them on the page so I've got EXO EXO and then I've got LIVE A COLOURFUL LIFE which I thought was perfect for this <laughs> bright colourful page and then I place them on the page and I turn over a page and realise that there was actually um, a bunch more <laughs> on the page and a whole lot of other colours so that kind of got me started as well um, on a little bit of a um, tiny word <laughs> sticker frenzy but I do get there I'm just fussing around with this blue one trying to find a good spot for it and I think that that may be a good spot there, but then I do, there we go. I flick and I find them, and it's me going, aha. So I'm trying to find a spot for them. They're rather thin, which is fine, I don't mind that, but um, anything that you stick them on, if it's textural or whatever, it's going to show underneath the label. So I'm really conscious of that. And I've put this green one at the top, and, and I can see the cut file shape underneath it, which is annoying me a little, um, but I do end up changing it shortly. I'm just trimming off a little bit of this, this peachy coloured one. I've popped that to the top. I'm going to bring in a pink one and tuck this down here. And then a really light 
pink one that matches the the like light pinky purpley color that we've got going on on the right here and here I am I've decided no I don't like it they're not sitting well so what I'm going to do I cut it out but I'm going to peel them all off and put them on some white cardstock and trim them out and then I'm going to pop a little bit of adhesive foam squares behind them and find a proper home for them that way they sit a lot nicer on the page for me by doing this and there we go I've kind of shuffled them around they're all on white cardstock and adhesive foam and I'm much happier with that so there we go okay so I'm going to have a little quick little look through the chipboard whimsical chipboard stickers and I just want to add a few more little details so we've got a light pinky purpley flower going in there a blue and purple butterfly because why not um, <clears throat> I haven't glued down my labels yet that are tucked in my layers. I'm going to quickly do that. Glue down my little chipboard pieces. I've got a little orange flower down the bottom. That's just bringing a little bit of interest underneath that uh, open spot in the cut file. I'm going to add a few hearts of um, the same similar colours. So I've got a yellow and we've got a pink. And I do bring in, I thought I brought in the light purple one I obviously don't I bought it in a blue leaf though <laughs> which of course goes up to the blue section so I'm going to put a bit of glue behind each of them just to make sure that they stick and I decided I wanted just a little bit more so I'm going to fussy cut a few of these but, um, butterflies off the 12 by 12 pattern paper um, just one of each color a pink an orange a blue a green and a purple and I'm just going to dot them around the page again in line with those colors on the pattern paper so this is a great way to add embellishing because it's not so overwhelming everything is tone on tone it's it gives you the opportunity to put a ton of little details and interesting things that you don't really notice straight away but when you stop and actually look at the layout and look at all those colors individually you see all the little things that are tucked on there which is really fun i love to i really really love to do um, tone on tone embellishing for that reason so I decided it was a little bit little bit too plain for me that white paper background so I'm going to tear the top right and I'm going to pop an off cut of the rainbow pattern paper so that matches in line with what we've got going on on the page and then I'm going to do the same at the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to tear some off there and then I'm going to put my little off cut of that again of that rainbow pattern paper down there and then that will be pretty much it for my layout I think that kind of brings a bit more balance um, and a bit of weight around those edges so like I said that's it for my layout I really hope you enjoyed the process um, and I'll see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.